What is up guys, it's your boy Shadow Puppet coming at you with another incredible video. So this is part 3 of the whole Cold War fiasco. So guys, we've had some breakthrough in the comments. The community is kind of torn. I personally think this is a game issue where the Treyarch team is going to have to patch, a, patch the game to make it playable so it won't turn your console off. But some of the community thinks that it's software based, i.e. Team Xbox and Team PlayStation, that they're going to have to issue a hotfix for the console. Either way, guys, this issue is not going to be resolved until a patch is pushed through. But going a little past that, another possible fix that I've pinned in the description of both videos is one of my commenters put that in order to play the game without it turning off your console you need to download both versions of call of duty cold war and he has both of them downloaded he said that he hasn't had a problem and those are and that's for like people who installed the series x and s version and still get their consoles booted off he said to do that but the thing is i didn't do that and mine is still working so i started to kind of brainstorm and tinker around a bit so i was like why is it doing that and then i remembered when i installed the game i installed call of duty cold war the campaign the multiplayer zombies dead ops arcade the hd textures and ray tracing those were all of that was from the series s slash x version of cold war but the contact pack 1, 2, 3, and 4, those were from the Xbox One version of Call of Duty Cold War. I did not reinstall this, 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 or this. I kept all of that from this version, which if we go, manage game and add-ons. You will see here if it shows us. There we go. We have the base version of the game. This is all for the last gen version of Cold War. We have the base game. We have the campaign, the multiplayer, the zombies, the Ops Arcade. But you see here how we still have these content packs. These I kept. I didn't re-download the new ones. I kept this one. And Cold War has been working perfectly for me. And the reason I say that. I don't think it's software based, IO Team Xbox, Team PlayStation, is because I've played Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Call of Duty Cold War now, Call of Duty Warzone, all of these are Xbox Series X and S enhanced versions of the game. I played all of these with no problems on my Series X, it didn't reboot, it didn't do any of that. So guys. As always, I hope you guys find the video helpful and informate and uh, informative. Always look at the comments. We're constantly answering each other. We're constantly posting back and forth rhetoric on what we should do this and how you could do this and different methods. I wasn't the one who discovered having the two versions of Warzone would work. That credit, full credit goes to a commenter. That goes by the name of Ruben. I'm not going to say his last name for privacy reasons. And he was the one who actually made me think of this. I was thinking, he has both versions installed, but I only have one. Why is it working for me with only one, but he requires, like, he needs both of them? Either way, guys, one thing's for sure. This is not going to be truly fixed until a patch comes out. Either the Team Xbox issues a hotfix for the console, like a dash dashware update or the treyarch team issues a update for the game but either way guys this issue won't really go away until an update comes i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys found it informative again if you did find something interesting please share it guys please share it so other people could know and you know the more information they have the better it is for them to be able to resolve the issue. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Always leave a comment below if you're still struggling on a concept. Or if you have a question, one of the members in the community will answer back. I've been seeing a ton of feedback. Just people responding to other people. And 
that's something that I'm really proud of. I really love to see that the community interacting with each other, just helping each other out. But as always, guys, let's go!